the parents like, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my god, I'm getting emotional. Yeah, oh boy, this shit banging. Yeah, I love the way you love me, girl. I love the way you do. Yeah, we can spend some time. I love the time to spend with you. What's up? What's up? It's me, Trino. And my name is Adam. Today we're going by to Lotto FTCU. FTCU featuring Glorilla and Gangsta mm. Boo. You know Gangsta Boo, man? Okay, Gangsta Boo goes way back. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I just like her. I stumbled into her. Um, with that girl Hannah. Coke bottle thick, man. What you thought it was? Boom. I'm in the barn with my cowgirl, boosting drugs. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. And it was such a vibe. Gangsta Boo is gangsta Boo. She is the vibe. She got, she got the flows. She got the energy. She got the vibes that I love. In Lotto, she's just fucking up the game, man. She really is. She's really stamping herself as an artist, as a female rapper. And then Glorilla, Glorilla is just shaking up the. She's bringing a different sound and. I love her look. I love how she's not really bringing like, you know, this big booty girl. Like she's sexy. She's a petite girl, and like, I hope she stays with that. You know, we're gonna blink her eyes. She's gonna be fucking blowed up the girls and the back. You know what I'm saying? I hope not. I hope not. She's gonna have a tiny ass little nose now. <laughs> Seriously, like they they all come like, oh, I love me. I'm gonna stay true to me. But they get that money and they they hear the critiques. Boy, if you ran into some money, you'd be coming over here like that too. I'll be a whole Michael Jackson, huh? <laughs> I'll be a Caucasian man. <laughs> Fuck no, I wouldn't. Anyways, let's just jump in it because I love me. I love me to see like like female female like uh, rapper or artists just coming together and really doing some shit. Come on, get me all ready. Let's get into it. She's so Hello. What the fuck? Oh, Girl, now you getting ready for pay. You in the motherfucking pay. Bitch, get off. Mm -hmm. She got too much. I'm finna go fuck the club, little bitch. I'm finna get ready, ready then. I'm gonna meet you up there. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'm in the VIP. I don't walk straight past you. Oh. Walk up in that club if I ain't get that back in They was at the club on live, we caught them bitches lagging yeah. Eleven deep up in this booth, we posted like what's happening wow. I pray to God, I hold on, run up all my bitches jacking Hey, I told them folks Ooh. to Google okay. me or something Cause I don't show ID, nah. and I don't get my number out in clubs They, they gotta follow I'm me Folk house full of shooters just in case they try to follow me huh? Keep them pistols in the party, we Ooh. don't go by policies we don't do that. Hey, we in the club with drugs just like farmers Hats. Strictly popping up on beach, we not arguing. Where they do this? Walk up in your party, make that bitch my party, ayy. Hey. Uh, and we just spiced it up and got them bitches sauce on but the gun. Club up, fuck the club up. I might stand up on your shit and fuck a dub up. Fuck the club up, fuck the club up. I might go up in your shit, you tryna mug us. Fuck the club up, fuck the club up. I might stand up on your shit and fuck a dub up. Was Gangsta Boo like behind it? Cause I like I how- I think maybe she was, she was the one that called her, right? Because we saw Lotto, we saw Glorilla, but we're like, Gangsta Boo got that sound. She did not rap at all. So maybe she's behind it, maybe it's, you know, like, I don't know. We, we gotta figure, comment below what, what you guys she think. she the one that called? Like, no, 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 that was Glorilla. That was Glorilla. 
Okay, that shit is so hard. That gives me fucking three six mafia, fucking project pad, fucking vibe. You already know what's that up. That shit was fire. That shit was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's hard, and I love how they. You know, Lotto just got that sound, and I feel like Lotto's only growing because Lotto came really young, knowing her sound, and she's only growing. And she's only becoming such a fucking legit rapper that's gonna be untouchable. The more you work on your on whatever you're working on, your craft. on your craft, you're gonna be the fucking baddest. And when you figure yourself out, can nobody touch you? And I feel like Lotto being so young, she's already in a level like she's gonna be so faced by new bitches coming. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the thing. We live in, a, in this world of insecurity. Anybody that comes that has a little bit of our vibe is like, wait, wait, what's up with this motherfucker? What a trip, huh? We did see her when she was like, yeah. I mean, we. I think yeah. the whole world saw her growing up. She's been doing it on YouTube, and then she's just jumping onto the show, seeing how she grew up. And you know, there was a lot of talented people on the show she she was in with um J Jabri, um what's her uh, name? Jermaine Dupri. There were so many like super uh, super fly or whatever. That girl was so fucking fire. All the other kids were so talented. They had that raw talent, but you know, was the par the parents like? <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. I just remember about the show. It really got me. <laughs> uh -huh. No, so everybody was really so. If it was something, if it was something they wanted, Lotto was obviously something that she it had. It was in her blood. Like she wasn't pushed to do it. And um, yeah, Lotto's my girl, man. Yeah, Lotto's becoming somebody that you can't touch, man. Nikki had her spot. You're Nikki. You can't touch Nikki, but. You know, little Kim, everybody. But Lotto's becoming somebody that's that is just not here to just get a little bit of fame. She literally is, she's here for the long. This is her. She's a fucking rapper. She's not just trying to do it. Cause a lot of bitches been no. Well, I already have a lot of following on social media. I love that she. Let me rap. She did that. You mean she did that? And she's so clever. She flows, and she's just not fucking just spitting. She'll like level it up. She'll play with it. And I love shit like that. Yeah. And then Glorilla's just bringing something different. I love she has her. a different sound. She almost has it like real, real deep. Yeah. You know, she's real like hard with it. Like, it's the type of bitch that when you're chilling and that's your homegirl, and you know like no bitch will come your way because you're riding with her. Bitch, calm down, fuck. It's not that serious. Or they just know like, let me call they my girl Glorilla. Yeah, they, but just her look <laughs> itself. Just her look itself. Just her sound itself. Like, no bitch will step to her because she just, she looks tiny. She's the type of bitch that, you know? She's about her shit. Yeah, comment below, man. So what's up? Like, if you know, was was uh, was Gangsta Boo behind like maybe the beat was was that her beat? You know, I heard her a little bit on the in the back of the beat. You know, what's what's up with this? Because I was ready for Gangsta Boo. Maybe it was an extended version. I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. We had to. Yeah. You had to help us because we gonna was, get to the bottom. I was like, shit. wait, okay, Lorella's done. Come on, Gangsta Boo. Come on. What the fuck shit? <laughs> you know. So. But this was a vibe, man. This is definitely an energy. You bumping your car, man. Going to the club, going to the strip joint, kicking it with your homies. You already know what's up. All right, well, you guys have a beautiful day, man. Comment below. Let us know what's up. Because I'm very, really confused. All right, bye. Hey, I got you.